The president's budget proposal eliminates public media funding. Learn how you can help at lptv.org action. What's next for the BSU softball team? The Beavers are coming off a record-setting year a season ago in which they won a program best 33 games while also recording their first 500 season in over a decade. Now the Beavers are ready to prove last year was no fluke. After a record-setting campaign in 2016, the BSU softball team knows there's no surprising anyone this season. People are realizing that we are one of the better teams in the conference now. We don't sneak up on anybody anymore. It's okay, it's Bemidji. They're going to give us a run for our money each game. Because of that success a year ago when the Beavers finished 8th in the NSIC and won two games in the conference tournament, the expectations for this year are that much higher. Last year was 8th for us in the conference and into the playoffs, and we want to be better than that. Last year was great, but but it's more about this year. We had high expectations now coming in this year, so we just really have to have our A game every game, do what we know we can do, what we've been working hard at all year. Any success BSU will have this year will start and end with their workhorse Jess Yost in the circle. The senior has already racked up 13 wins, along with 163 strikeouts to go with her conference leading .87 ERA. She is in prime mode right now, throwing really well. We're working her innings correctly, and you know, every time she steps out into the circle for us, we know that we got a chance in every single game. But they'll need contributions from other players up and down the lineup as well. I talk about you know putting the cape on and being the superhero in the lineup and driving those runs in. So we've just got to be a little more clutch, which means we just have to be more selective at the plate. Uh, in hit pitches, we can drive the other way and get the runs in. The Beavers currently sit fifth in the NSIC, and they know they have work left to do, but the team's confidence is sky high. Our team is just as good, if not better, than last year. And they're ready to put the conference on notice. There's really no weak link right now for us, and that's going to help us as the season goes along. We are a good team, and seeing last year's results and knowing that we can be even better this year, I think just the confidence really helps. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.